y'all it's your girl salute the real welcome back to my channel before we get into this video today make sure y'all like comment and subscribe okay y'all so i'm back with another story time today and from the title y'all already know what your girl's about to talk about so let's get into this video today okay y'all so i am back with another story time y'all i did want to start touching on like my daddy and what happened to him and his story times or whatever and how his wife and her fucking daughter stole my identity so we about to get into this video y'all so because it's gonna be like a few videos before i get to how he passed away and all that so when i was living with my uncle whatever y'all like my uncle would be very hard on me like he wouldn't let me do any fucking thing even go see my daddy like he didn't trust me to do anything y'all he just wanted me to be under his wing so i could be like in his vision at all times so like around this time y'all my daddy will always be like you know like you can come down here with us or whatever and we just gonna call his i should really just give them their fucking real names and that's probably what i'm gonna do because at the end of the day fuck you and fuck your daughter too but um yeah i'm gonna just give them their names he had when him and my mom got a divorce and she moved or whatever he had ended up dating this lady named sheila she had a daughter named ashley and she had a, another daughter i forget her name and she had a son we just gonna call him criminal because that nigga was weird and bad as hell but he was way older than me y'all so when um you know because that was the only parent that i still had contact with when i was living with my uncle or whatever so my daddy would always keep in touch with me um and i would only talk to my mom every blue moon whenever she picked up the phone or could find a phone to call my uncle to see how i was doing or whatever i would talk to her then but other than that like i literally had a cell phone and i can call my daddy at any given moment like hey daddy like how you doing whatever whatever so around this time y'all like he was like, you know, I can, you could come, you know, spend the weekend with us or whatever. And I, at first I was kind of like iffy because I already knew like his wife didn't like, like, like me at all. And her kids didn't like me either. Like it was so weird. It's like my dad had like something wrong with him since he was like born or whatever. He had muscular dystrophy. If y'all watch my videos, y'all would know that. And he had money. Like my dad was a dealer um he actually cut hair he had his own barbershop in our backyard he had his own he had worked in a whole nother shop in the city uh he sold things like my dad was a real, real ass nigga okay like being in a wheelchair ain't stop him none like that nigga was on, on his shit okay so i just felt like when she got with him she was kind of just using my daddy for what he got and i felt like she didn't really love him for real and i felt like i never really liked her like i just felt like it was something off about her and i just really didn't like her and on top of that the bitch was ugly as fuck like she was ugly as fuck like and i'm not here to like bash somebody or talk down but she was ugly as fuck so that's probably why she didn't like me like and when i first met her she kind of rubbed me the wrong way because when i was younger y'all my mom used to spoil me like i had like earrings that said my name if y'all don't know my real name is la dante she had my real name on there or whatever like la dante she had a chain la dante and i think i had like a ring that said la dante so when she met me she was like damn like you don't know your name and i'm like yeah i do but my mama bought me this like what you mean and she would like just say little things like oh like because like every time i would like wash i don't know if other things happened like that with y'all whatever but every time i like wash my face or like just do anything with my face after a while my nose would just be shiny and she was like yeah you can't trust no girl with no shiny nose that mean you sneaky that mean you nosy like just saying little shit like and at the time like i was real young so i just kind of didn't pay it no mind and her daughter like she would always like she never liked me y'all like never liked me mind you all her kids was mad older than me like the fuck so my uncle which surprisingly he agreed and he let me go with them or whatever y'all so around the first time i ever went with them or whatever like i think my brother was still staying with my dad at the time but after a while they kind of ran him off too and it's so crazy y'all because they stole my brother identity too we don't get into that so <laughs> so they let me go with him or whatever so i got there or whatever y'all and the moves was off they they really wasn't like trying to like greet me for real like it was always secret animosity it was weird as fuck so my dad like he would always still be working and doing him at this time y'all they didn't move into so, like a place smaller like my dad didn't have his trailer anymore he ended up moving to like some apartments like it was just like my daddy was going downhill like I started noticing him getting like skinny in the face. I don't know if he was just getting more sicker and sicker because around the time this lady got with my daddy, 
he he got with her so close to when after my mama and him got a divorce it's so crazy y'all because my mama literally got back on drugs after she got a divorce from my daddy i don't know if that had any correlation but she literally got on drugs right after they got a divorce and i didn't notice it until like years later and that's when she was just gone so it, but it's like he started dating this woman right after my mom it was so weird so um you know when i got there or whatever like her daughter and her and her son or whatever they would always be really mean to me they wouldn't let me watch tv for real and um for a long time like when i would go over there like the times i did go over there or whatever i would hear them like in a room like and before they actually moved into the apartment i just told you about they was still at the trailer that he had my dad had owned like a mobile home it was like you know like those double wide trailers that look like a house he had one of them and I don't know what happened, but he didn't stay there too much longer when he was dating her. But when I got there, like, the girl then moved into my room. The boy then took my brother old room. Like, it was just so crazy just to see that. And it kind of, like, hurt my feelings. So when I was there or whatever, like, I would hear them in the living room talking, like, well, don't. Because uh, it was a way, like, you can, like, can't, like, hide channels. I don't know how they was doing that. But I used to like to watch Disney. My mom put me on that, y'all. And they would, like, hide the channels from me so I couldn't see it or whatever and try to play this game, like, oh, well. Or they'll hide the remote. So I just can't watch TV. Like, it was so fucking weird, y'all. So I was just like, y'all weird as fuck. So after that or whatever, y'all, we, we was in the car. I forgot where we was going or whatever. And the dude, the son, um, criminal, he always had a nasty-ass attitude. He always was very fucking mean to me. It was weird as hell. It's like... Sheila, I guess she, and it's so cringe. These people got my last name. Well, the Sheila lady do. She got my last name. Bitch, you shouldn't have that. Fuck you. So, it's like, I don't know if she would hype her kids up to just fucking torment me. But I was just like, yeah, I'm not coming back over here. And I would tell my daddy, like, they just doing this and doing that. He like, it's going to be okay. Like, just don't worry about it. I'm like, no, what you mean? Don't worry about it. Like, so it was a whole situation when we was in the car, like, I think I wanted to sit, like, closer to the front, and the dude didn't want me to sit there or whatever. So, when we had ended up parking, he had, like, some type of cup, but it was, like, glass. And I guess he had, like, got mad or whatever. So, when we got out the van, he threw the cup and or the glass or whatever, and it kind of, like, brushed past my leg. And I'm like, you know, like, you're doing too much. Like, it's not that fucking big of a deal. So, I'm like, you know, I'm going to tell my brother. Like, you got me fucked up. He was like, I don't give a fuck. Tell your brother. Tell your brother. So, I was like, whatever, bro. Like, I don't got time. Like, y'all weird as fuck. And I was like, you know, Dad, like, I'm ready to go back to my own uncle them house. Like, I don't really want to be here no more. Like, they're none of them like me, and they just doing too much. Like, I can't even watch fucking TV over here. Like, he was like, you know, I understand, Dante. Like, I'm sorry about that. Like, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? I, I put you through all this stuff or whatever. And I'm just like, you know, you cool, Dad. I just wanted to come see you, spend time with you. Like, I just didn't want to really want to be around them. And then it was like the girl, Ashley, she would always, like, call my daddy her daddy. Like, bitch, go find your real daddy. You, like, 18, 19. This man is not your fucking father, ho. Like, you're just trying to piss me off. Like, you're really getting on my fucking nerves. So... After that, y'all, I ended up going back to my daddy. I mean, not my daddy. Back to my uncle in them house, y'all, whatever. And the time that I was gone, I don't know what the fuck Mood was doing, but she had people in my room. If y'all go back to story times, I told y'all that my uncle made her attic my room. I literally had to go through this girl's room or go through her bathroom, then go through her room to get to the attic, which was my room. So when I returned home, y'all, I go into the attic, <clears throat> AKA my room, she had like maybe two or three friends like in her room at the time. So when I go in there, y'all, and it's so crazy, I keep talking about condoms. I go in there, y'all, and I'm looking around because it was like mad dark and there was only like one light. I'm looking all around this shit. Now, mind you, y'all, I just had this whole badass trip to my daddy house and now I'm coming back. And it's badass energy here because the people she had in her room, none of them spoke to me. Mind you, y'all, I know all these people. We go to high school together. Like, they see me all the time. So, y'all could have at least said, hey, how you doing? I mean, I could have spoke, but I just felt like if I would have spoke to them, none of them would have said shit back. So, I go in a room or whatever, y'all, and I'm looking. My bed is not how I left it. So, I'm just like, you know, why my bed not made? the fuck? So, I went to go, like, pull my, my covers back or whatever, y'all. And then, why is a fucking condom on my bed? Look, use. So I'm just like, moo, like, who the fuck condom is this in my room? Mind you, y'all, my uncle don't even play like that. So I just felt like at that moment, I don't know if she was trying to play a prank on me 
or if somebody really was doing that shit in there but i it just it don't make any sense because that wouldn't happen like that wouldn't happen but it could have happened because like i told you y'all and i'm gonna just say it my uncle he really thought he put mood on a pedestal and it was a whole situation where he caught her sneaking a dude in the house. But little do he know, this girl been sneaking people in the house for a long time. For years. And it was just funny because he caught her that time. It was times that I would literally walk out the, the fucking attic to go pee in the middle of the night. And it's been like two occasions where I caught this girl in a room with a dude. Like, me about to do it. And the next day, she would try to be my friend. Like, bitch, we not cool. You don't like me, remember? But I ain't gonna tell on you, though, ho. I keep your secret, but don't fucking talk to me, bitch, because we not cool. I never told on this girl. So when she finally got caught up with a nigga in a house, everybody was shocked but me. Like, I, I already knew this shit. Like, the fuck? It was a whole situation. A nigga that I used to mess with, he told me he know what my house looked like. He said he waited in the movie room, because we had a movie room and everything, y'all. He said he waited in the movie room for his homeboy to finish with move. So I was just thinking, like, well, damn, like, did... She really do this in my room or something while I was gone. So I'm just like, you know, move. Like, who fucking condom is this? She like, oh, uh, my bad, my bad. I, I don't know. I'm like, what you mean you don't know? You, who the else been in my room? Like, the fuck? She was like, I don't know. I don't know. So I went to go just, like, throw the shit away. Because I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, that's nasty. And it's like, I can't even tell my uncle what the fuck just happened. Because I don't want to really get this bitch in trouble even though I don't fuck with her like that. Cause this nigga might try to flip it on me and try to make it seem like that's my shit. And it ain't, that ain't, that ain't even what it's giving y'all. Like the fuck? So not after I didn't have this whole fucking badass trip with my uncle and his fucking fake ass Huxable family. Now I'm coming home to find condoms and shit in my room. So I'm just like, you know, like this shit is beyond me y'all. So I just like, just really started to try, like feeling this type of way, like being there or whatever. And I was just like, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to deal with these people. Like, the fuck? And she did not care. Like, she did not care. Like, she act like she didn't know where shit came from. But the whole time, I really thought, like, she did some shit in my room. Or she had somebody doing some shit in my room. When my uncle, he wouldn't even let niggas come in the house. Ever. Like, it don't matter if the nigga gay or nothing. Like, no niggas coming up in his house. Period. The fuck? So after that, y'all, or whatever, I was just like, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do, y'all. Like, it would have been times that my uncle would threaten to um show me pictures of my mama or whatever. And I'm just like, bro, I ain't got time for that. Like, I don't want to see how she look. I don't want to see her at her worst moment. And he was just like, that's why. Like, he would always bring it up. Like, that's why your fucking daddy don't want you no more, bitch. And all this and all that. And he would just, like, just make me feel like shit. So I'm just like, whatever, bro. Like, it was just too much, y'all. I literally stayed in a room after that for mad long like i would literally just stay in the fucking attic i don't like i told y'all it had no ventilation in there so if it was in the summer it's hot as fuck like i would literally just be in there sweating <laughs> depressed in the zone sad wishing i was somewhere else because it's just like damn i can't even win like not only i don't got my mama no more my daddy didn't got him a whole new family that hates me and I'm living in a house with people that don't even fucking like me. The only person that liked me for real was Beyonce. But yeah, y'all. That is just a little intro, introduction into my daddy and his wife. And what I had to go through with them or whatever. We is going to get a little bit deeper into the story times or whatever relating to him. But that's all that I have for this video, y'all. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Support your girl. Follow your girl on all social medias. That's at TikTok at Salute Marie and Instagram at Salute Marie. And always make sure your post notification bells is always turned on. So every time I post another video, y'all what? <laughs> Tune in. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.